Hello everyone, hope you're all well. So I am here today with my review on the American Apparel jeans and the Journey jeans from Topshop. Lots of you guys like the idea and um, I thought I would get on with this video and hopefully, fingers crossed, it won't be really long. So I'm going to talk about a bit of history about jeans just because then you guys get to know what kind of jeans I like and um, what I want from a good pair of jeans because obviously as with anything that um, I talk about, it's my opinion. So. I might like more of a more of a legging jean, but you might like more of a run-of-the-mill jean with a little bit more of like a hold. When I say hold, I mean more of a thicker material. So it kind of really depends, but I'm gonna try and cover all the bases here so that nothing gets left out. So talking through history of my jeans, I'm always kind of steering more towards the darker wash of a jean. I'm I have um dabbled in more of like an acid wash jean if you look back through like my really, really old videos and things, but um Pretty much I like a more of a darker wash just because I find it more flattering just personally on me, it's just what I kind of prefer and um, that's kind of what I think suits me a little bit better but that's kind of not so much what I'm going to be talking about in this video but um, that's another preference and I've dabbled in things like a jegging, more of a jegging jean, not exactly jeggings, I'm not a legging or jegging person so to speak, um, I'm more of a, I like more of a structured or thicker type of trouser, but um, you're going to hear the word jean quite a lot in this video, I just want to sort of point that out there. And um, so I have previously, back in the day, worn the lead jeans from Topshop, which um, if you guys want to know about the description of these jeans, I'm sure you can pop on the Topshop website and I will just leave the link to that down below and um, I'm sure they describe their jeans but the Lee jeans are more kind of like a, a jegging material I've also had the Jamie's but by far um, I will talk about I prefer the Journey jeans they're just I'll talk about that in a minute but that's kind of a little bit of a history so another thing that is more sort of about me is I like a high-waisted jean or trouser in general um, I don't like low rise on me particularly just because I have a waist and I find if I wear low rise they just fall down and um, I'm not comfortable throughout the day so I'm constantly having to pull up my trousers which is quite annoying and also I just like to wear crop tops and you know things that kind of emphasize my waist slightly more so um, a higher waisted jean kind of allows me to do also, that. Also if my hair looks slightly shorter from the last video it's because I've actually had it had it cut which um, it actually really needed I had about like this much taken off the ends and I just had layers put in so in case anyone notices that. My first venture into the world of high waisted jeans was um, my American Apparel Easy Jeans and I actually have ironed these but they're still a little bit creased so apologies for that. So my first ones were the black pair and they just look like a nice high waisted pair of jeans. They don't have pockets at the front but they have two great big pockets at the back and they're just very plain and simple and that is pretty much what mostly kind of drew me towards them just because I don't like things with like big diamantes or writing um, you know like how River Island likes to do quite a lot of embossing on their, on their clothing I'm less into that um, and I like more of something plain one thing that I wasn't like overly crazy about which you guys are probably like Barbara you're so extra which I really am um, is the button. I kind of wish this was more of a neutral colour, which I will di like divulge into that about the Adjoni jeans. But other than that, I was like, Barbara, come on, it's a button, like, get over it. Just, if they fit you well, just get them. And um, it was kind of between these and the disco pants, and when I saw these, I didn't even bother trying the disco pants on, because these are just so much more me. Like, I can wear these in the evening or in the day. And when I say high-waisting wise, like high-waisted wise, I will put a little clip of me and how high-waisted they actually are in the um, in the view of the film, of the video. But they really do come up to nearly like under my breast, like they're very very high-waisted, they definitely cover your belly button. And um, I got these in a size medium and they are £64, which you're going to probably be thinking like, whoa. But I think jeans, just like foundation if you're talking makeup wise, are something you really need to invest in. and. I just thought, you know, I like the way they fit and everything, so I'm going to get them. So I got these in a medium, and I thought they fit perfectly. I've obviously washed these, like, a ton of times, like, I want to say, like, more than ten. You know, I've had these for quite a while. I've washed these a lot. And um, I got, obviously, the black pair, and I don't know if you guys can see, even against my t-shirt now, it has faded, and I do wash these inside out as well, if any guys are going to tell me, like, wash them inside out. Um... So that's one thing, lots of you guys were telling me in the comments, you were like, oh, do they, um, do they wash well, do they 
um, fade and yes they do but to be honest I kind of like that that's just me um, maybe I'm strange but I kind of like yeah, it yeah. yeah so I went for the medium since having washed these and everything and worn them I, I can fit into a size small so the blue ones that I'm going to show you guys I actually have in a size small now I can still wear the medium but again it's that whole situation of when they're freshly washed I can wear them and I like they look great and then as they sort of I'm wearing them more and more they tend to kind of loosen and look a bit more raggedy not raggedy but you know what I mean another thing with American Apparel um, is you can't choose your length so unlike Topshop which they do I think a 32 and a 30 leg maybe even 34 um, maybe even less I'm not sure but I definitely know they do a 30 and a 32 I'm just gonna give you guys a really quick view of the blue and as you can see these are a gorgeous like they're not really coming up as nice on camera but these are a lot brighter and blue as my Joni ones that are blue but um, yeah and these are a size small the size like difference isn't cr like crazy when you look at them but when when you wear them you can definitely tell so those are the small in the blue and these are again £64 I'm going to talk about the Jonies so I got this black pair probably like nearly two months ago and um, I've been looking up them I think I bought them online actually so I hadn't even tried them on or anything and I went with my standard size 10 Topshop size and um, and I got a length 30 just because I like a little bit of an ankle cleavage and I like the look of um, very tight jeans at the bottom so less of a scrunched up look to my jeans um, that's just again me just as a preference me in my weird ways but um, yeah I got the black pair and as you can see with these what I love one of the things I love is the button is concealed so the button is you can't see it um, so that just means that like if I'm wearing silver jewellery or gold etc I just I'm not a very big fan of brass is what I'm trying to say and the brass button is like not I would have rather if it was silver to be honest but um, yeah so they're kind of more discreet looking the buttons and one thing that is definitely like the, the first main thing that you're going to see when you feel the both both of the jeans um, if you're going to touch them is these are like a lot more thicker but they also still have a lot of give to them so they do have some elasticity to them which um, I just think is a must and essential in modern day jeans I know back in the day you know you used to get jeans that were like very tight and um, that's probably one of the reasons why I love these kind of jeans so much is because they're not so constricting they are still relatively kind of you can still kind of move in them and I am quite a fidgeter like I like to sit weird and stuff so I can still kind of move around in them and things but um, yeah and I just think the give in them just makes them so much more wearable and easy to wear but definitely my favourite thing is the fact that I can choose the length like I just think these look so much nicer especially hopefully when the weather gets warmer um, I like that kind of little bit of ankle showing and I just think it makes me look taller and thinner personally just what I think I got these in a size in a waist 28 and a length 30 um, I will say I have a small waist so this bit unlike the um, size small in the American Apparel the size small of the American Apparel fit me better on my waist but these I do find I have a little bit more of a gape that is one thing to kind of you know think about maybe next time I didn't I actually bought them all in a quite a hurry and also bought these online but next time I will probably if I'm gonna buy another pair I will go in Topshop and try the size 8 on and I know lots of people get really funny when I talk about my sizing but it's not because I'm in any way like self-conscious about my sizing or anything I'm not saying I'm the biggest or thinnest girl in the world I'm just telling you guys as a reference point so that maybe if you're a size if you're a size 8 you know whether to go up a size or a down a size or if you're a size 12 you can again just gauge that if I'm a normal standard size 10 in Topshop I can go up or down and that kind of thing I'm not saying it just because of an insecurity I want to share with you guys I promise I will now tell you guys which is my preference and I prefer the Joni jeans I think when you want to try and figure out if you like something enough um, it's to kind of gauge what you wear most so in my cupboards in the morning when I'm getting ready um, which jean do I kind of grab the most and go for the most and it's definitely my Joni jeans which I'm actually shocked to say because I spent so much more money on the American Apparel and I would have thought that if anything I'm gonna like the American Apparel more but there's just something about because they're thicker I feel like I'm getting a little bit more of a, um, a, a sucking sensation rather than kind of like 
letting everything hang out if that makes sense I like more of a structure to my to my trousers and I like that sort of tighter feeling I know lots of people that's probably why lots of people don't like jeans but I kind of prefer that and the American Apparel ones are fine but because they are thinner I find a little they're a little bit more kind of maybe even more wearable for the summertime like I definitely will still wear these in the summertime I mean we hardly get a summer here in the UK anyway but um, just preference wise I would probably go for the Joni um, and they're cheaper so it's kind of like everything in one and again you can choose your length and it's Topshop so they're more readily available I just kudos to Topshop I know you probably shouldn't be copying American Apparel but you did good on these ones and I love them I really do love them and I probably will get backups and like continue buying them because I just am a jean lover and I always so will. that is my jeans video I really do hope you guys enjoyed this let me know um, out there what other brands of jeans you guys like that are high-waisted and um, I hope this was helpful for you guys and kudos to Topshop and the Joni jeans so I will see you guys all very soon I hope everyone has a really nice weekend love you lots bye <laughs>